Hey, how are you? Mary Stewart here. Um, I am going to do a video today to talk about how to quickly and easily live stream with two or more people. I did a video a couple of weeks ago and I've gotten um, some responses because basically the whole world is needing to go virtual or online practically overnight. Um, so some of the questions, this is an update to that video. Um, that video was basically for online service providers who had already been using the software. So they just needed a really quick one-two punch and they were in the game. So this one is gonna be a little bit more extended. If you wanna see one that's much shorter, um, I'll put the link in the comments and you can go there. The only thing that you need to know about that video is you have to have the Facebook screen sharing extension downloaded on your phone. All right, so let's let's dive in. Um, so to start this process, I am using Loom screen sharing. So that is how I am doing the screen share. So I'm gonna go to Zoom. And I am going to host a meeting with the video on. And from there, I am going to invite a participant. So click on that. They have copied the URL, so I'm gonna do that one. And then I'm gonna go to my email and drop it in. So that is how that link looks. But what I wanna show you is um, what it would look like if you click the other link, copy invitation. So now I've copied the invitation and I'm gonna hop back over here and show you it, how that looks. So in this one, you see that we have these nine numbers. Oh, let me go ahead and send that and then we'll talk. I'm sending it to my friend and she's gonna like literally hop on. Okay, so as you can see those nine numbers, um, those nine numbers are right there. Those are the only numbers that you need. Like if you wanted to text those numbers to someone, they could hop on Zoom. You don't need all of those links. But I just wanted to show you what it looks like if you copied the URL. Now that if they had the URL, they could click on it and get straight to this meeting. But um, since they've been having the Zoom um, Zoom bombing and all of that stuff with the hacking, there's now a password or you have to allow the person to come in. Then the copy of the invitation, I showed you what that looks like. But keep in mind, these are the only nine numbers that you need. So if you have someone on the phone, you can just say, hey, type this into Zoom and then they can be on the call. So now I am gonna be waiting for her to come on <clears throat> and I'll show you the rest of the process. So do you have to be a paid member of Zoom? You do not have to be a paid member of Zoom to do this process, but keep in mind that you only have a 45 minute window. Outside of that, outside of that window, um, if you need to have a meeting longer than that, then you will need to pay. At the, t at the um, 35 minute mark, Zoom is gonna say, hey, you got 10 minutes left and everybody on the thing is gonna see that. So think about if that's something that you want, if you think your video may go longer than 45 minutes because they're gonna absolutely shut that video down at that 45 minute mark. So think about that. If you need less than 45 minutes, this way will work for you. If not, you'll need to upgrade to their $14.99 plan. Now that was the price the last time that I checked. I go back and forth between the free version, webinar version, and the $14.99 version. Okay, so it says manage two participants, and as you can see, this lit up, so that means that she's here. Um, so back to the Zoom bombing, that's why you have to do this. This was, um, they recently built this in because of that, because prior to this, this person would just be able to hop on. So I'm going to let her in. Um... And as you can see, this screen, this is the gallery view. So um, it's like this. But if you want to do the speaker view, then you will have it like this. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start my video, and then I'm going to be on, on video in two places. 
All right. <laughs> All right. So the next question, uh, uh, we'll talk about the Chrome extension. Someone was asking about both cameras. So now you see that both cameras are on. Um, and let's go. So we will go, to, I will go to a Facebook screen. And so this is my personal Facebook. And then here's live video. And from there, it's gonna, I wanna do the screen sharing. So I'm gonna hit screen sharing, but um, Facebook, needs me to download this um, extension. So add to Chrome. So you add that extension. And it tells me that that has happened. Okay, so X out of that. Come back over here. Go to the application window. And now here's the video right here. Okay, so click on that and hit share. Okay. So this, this one, this window is the Zoom window. Behind it is the Facebook window. So this is the Facebook one, and we are now on. Wave your hand out, Reese. So there we go, that's live. She's just nice enough to help me to uh, show that, and she's like uh, busy doing something else. But anyway, there, that's that um, people are active in both windows. So here you can say something about your video, say whatever you wanna say, and then put the title of your video here. And then all of that stuff will show up. And then the last thing that you would do is press go live. All right, I think I have answered all of the questions on here. Yes. Um, if you have any more questions, please pop them in the comments. I am happy to help you um, show up on live streaming. Um, please like and subscribe my like like my video <laughs> and subscribe to my channel and let me know if this video in the comments just let me know anyway if it was helpful to helpful to you. Thank you and talk to you later.